Over the last few lessons, we've gone through various aspects of creating components, configuring Composer, autoloading, some very basic unit tests, and using accepted PSRs. All this time, we've not had a version number for our code, and all code needs a version number. Composer enforces an established standard for version numbering, which is called semantic versioning. This is also known as SEMVER. SEMVER enforces the structure of the version number and the level of the change allowed when incrementing these numbers. Version numbers should have three parts. The first is the major number, the middle is the minor, and the last is the patch. Major is for making backwards incompatible changes. These are also called breaking changes because they will break things for developers relying on your PHP API to be written in a certain way. A breaking change could be renaming a class, moving a class into a different namespace, renaming a method, or even changing type hints for an argument. Minor is for making backwards compatible changes. This can be adding new classes, methods, new arguments to methods, basically anything that doesn't break the API. Patch is for bug fixes, filling in security holes, and potentially performance improvements if they don't break stuff. Patch should not be used to add new functionality, as that forces developers to pay far too much attention to the change logs. When you are ready for your first release, you might consider calling that version 1.0. This is a bad idea. When your package is new, you are likely to discover a lot of improvements that involve changing things. Your code will go marching through versions 1, 2, 3, 4 far too quickly, and developers will get tired of constant major rewrites. More commonly, developers version their initial release as 0.1.0. .0. This leading zero tells developers that the previously mentioned rules of Semver are going to be a little bit different. The leading zero means a package is in initial development, and that means the API is not 100% stable. It will still never contain a breaking change in a patch release, but it could break when a new minor version is released. If a developer is relying on a component which starts with a zero, they need to be super careful about upgrading if that middle number changes. For example, changing from 0.1.0 to 0.2.0 could cause logic errors or even fatal errors. Semver can seem like a lot of rules to understand initially, but it's so helpful for developers, regardless of the programming language, to subscribe to these same rules and expectations. For us PHP developers, it means we can use Composer to install other dependencies with very specific expectations. Instead of requiring 1.5.0, then missing out on 1.5.1, we can use a wildcard to say 1.5. anything. Next time we run an update, we'll have instantly installed a security update, knowing it won't break our applications. If you have a Git repository set up with Packagist, each time you tag a new version and push that tag, you'll have released a brand new version on Packagist, and the whole PHP community can instantly use your code.